Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Single Player Let's Play Series World! How are you doing today? I'm doing super good. In the last couple episodes, we've been working on this Ender Pearl thing, and I keep saying that I'm gonna, you know, figure out a place to put them and a place to store them, and in the last episode, I was talking about this, and so I came in here and I made a little bit of room and quickly realized that this is not going to do it for us. We got redstone over here, we've got water up there. Oh man, this is just not big enough. We're going to have to put something else in here. So I was thinking about it, and my coordinates actually just so happened to line up with something that we got down here. Uh huh. So this is our music room, if you haven't seen this before. We've got a music randomizer underneath the floor. Of course, my sound's down kind of. But you can see that it's random music. It's pretty cool, and it's a super simple thing. It was uh, designed by Etho's lab. Uh, he, you know, obviously, you know Etho, and he made this cool music randomizer, so I threw one down um, under the floor. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I finished the ice stream from the spawn island area place, and so there's ice stream that goes from all the way over there to all the way over here. And look at this. It just lines up perfectly. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, so the plan here for today... By the, did I say thank you guys so much for watching? Thanks for all the support. I've been getting tons of support lately, and you guys are rocking it. It's making me super, super stoked to be making videos and stuff. So thank you all. I hope you're all having a really good day. And yeah, let's get let's get started on some technical doohickeys. Let's uh, figure out what we're gonna do with these Ender Pearls. I'm thinking um, an, an elevator of some kind, right? And then a storage system. Um, and then I had this idea. Man, it would be really cool if. Uh, aside from a storage system, which I'm, you know, thinking just like a wall of chests, um, we had some way, like maybe another machine, that we could hit a button and we could receive a whole bunch of ender pearls. So anyway, there's a bunch of redstone stuff that we can figure out here today. So that's going to be a uh, thing I work on first. I got something else that I wanted to talk about as well. But anyway, let's get started. I got some materials here and some more in my inventory, and I think I'm ready to start building. So yeah, let's. Uh, I'm going to think about some stuff. Um, maybe I'll show you something else. And yeah, I'll be RB. Okay, so I think I'm gonna save the testing part of this. Like, uh, I know it works. We can go put stuff over in the spawn island and it'll show up back at base. So I know the uh, water stream works fine. I think what I'm gonna do now is clear out a little bit more space. And I think I'm gonna build this elevator. Because no matter what we do, like, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do, but, but no matter what we do, we need the items to be higher up because we're working with this kind of area here. This is kind of the area I want to go with. Uh, anything past this point is just all, all like water and stuff. So I'm going to try and squeeze it into here. We can go down a little bit as well, but I don't want to have my pearls stored like down below us. I want them to be like, you know, so we can access them in a chest. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of this. Uh, you've seen this happen before. In case you haven't, I got a tutorial on my channel, how to do item elevator. So I'm going to do that. Um, ooh, looks like I need some glass. Yeah, and then we're going to figure out how to store them. So I'm going to do that. I'll be RB. The lag is so real, guys. This game, the lag right now is driving me crazy. Hashtag fix your game. Okay, so we got hoppers coming in like so. And this is, means that, um, that this is the last thing that happens because this is where all the hoppers are going to. And so then I think we're going to come back down like back here um, and then take it like this so into that one wrap it around and then come back to the beginning so you can see what's going on there um, it's gonna go this direction it's gonna come around and then it's gonna fill it up from right to left so that means that we could take one of these hoppers <laughs> this close oh I hate working around water it's so difficult okay and the lag, too. The, the lag and the water, not friendly together. Okay, so it means that we get to put something back here. Uh, it means that we get to take a couple of these hoppers and we get to, like, fill up a, uh, another thing over in the corner. And so, man, I've been thinking about this for quite some time. How do we put this little dispenser system, like, in this little spot in, a, like, a good, in a, in a nice way? And I think I'm going to have to just make it not look very symmetrical. It's just going to be kind of squeezed in here. So I'm going to try and figure something out. It's going to take me a while because I know it's going to because this is like a little compact little deal in here. Um, and this, I, I, <laughs> I haven't figured this out yet. I haven't designed this yet. I think, and this is just a think moment, I think I might do something like that. 
uh, maybe have like just some droppers on the side. Oh, not like that. And then maybe some over here. So if I could figure out how to evenly distribute pearls to all of this and then have this all activate, a couple times and what we would be able to do is we'd just be, like walk in here onto a pressure plate and it'd be like click 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 and we'd get like a few stacks hopefully that's the idea and so i mean it doesn't look terrible and then maybe i'll just put like furnaces or something over here to make it look even but anyway um, i'm gonna do something like this this probably isn't gonna be the final design though so let me figure something out like that um yeah i'll bring you back when i when i do or don't okay Okay guys, well, this has been complicated and took forever, but I think I got something figured out. It's really simple. I'm going to change this. I already know I'm going to change it, but for now, uh, it's working. We get about 16 ender pearls when we hit the button, which is pretty cool. Uh-huh, we get a couple extra. It seems to be about 18 each time, which is actually pretty cool because... Um, it means we'll have a stack we can throw in our inventory, and then we'll have a couple for, like, flying and stuff um, out of the base. So we can come in here, grab a stack in a bit, um, and then use a couple to fly away, and we'll have a stack in our inventory every time we hit that button. So, yeah, um, I really wanted to make it. I had more uh, droppers above these, so I had four in here, so I was hoping to get, like, a two stacks, but I couldn't figure that out. So the wiring, it was really difficult. Um, especially working under the water and everything. But anyway, we've got a little burnout torch deal down here. Those two torches will burn out. You can see that. And they'll just go forever um, until turned off by that torch down there, like so. And so this is just a burnout um, comparator clock, which I'll, uh, you know, I'll explain some other time. This is kind of a uh, cool little redstone deal that uh, if, you know, if you know redstone, you know what's happening here. But if you don't, this might look a little bit weird. But essentially, this turns on for a certain amount of time and then turns itself off. Check it out. It's going to slowly diminish the signal. It's going to go through here and then go through here and go through here. And each time it loses a little bit. Eventually, it'll turn off, which will allow it to run some more. Let's see that one more time. See that? So while, the, while, the, while this has a, a pulse... That is free to do what it wants to do, and it's free to burn out and dispense all the items. But as soon as that stops, turns the torch on, turns that thing off. Cool. And then we just got redstone fan dangled all the way up to here on top of that purple. So anyway, um, you hit the button and it, and, it, and it activates it all. Yeah, just a quick little deal. All right, well, in order to test our ender pearl deal, we've got to give our second character some good gear. So I think I'm going to go with some GG. And get some elytras for that dude. And then a nice punch to bow. Uh-huh. Can I rename this as well? A GG. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So now this second character is going to have some stuff to be able to get around with, um, which is super important. Man, I love this <laughs> gold farm. It really sucks that they reduce the gold, but I still come here all the time because of mending and the XP and stuff. Oh, it's awesome. Like... Oh man, I just got 20 levels. I went and I ate something real quick. It took me like 5 or 10 minutes. It's not the fastest, but man, it's nice to be able to just come here and sit and hold your thing and get XP. Okay, let's move on here. <laughs> that was so weird. So guys, I'm uh, over here with my my new uh, skin for my second account, and I'm just farming up some ender pearls. I was realizing that I know it's goofy, but you know, if you had three controllers, <laughs> you could just sit here, and ender pearls would be going all the way into the system by themselves. You know, maybe even four controllers. Uh, that's kind of a funny thought, but it's definitely possible if there's like four player sc split screen. I don't even think there is. Is there just two, right? Anyway, so I'm over here. I'm just going to farm some uh, pearls up. I'm going to get like a whole bunch, like a lot. I'm going to sit here and, and kill them for like 10 minutes or something crazy um, so we can get as many as possible. See if we can get some kind of like cap, you know, see if there's some kind of limit. Um, yeah, and we're going to test the system out like one time, like uh, completely, and hopefully we'll get some stuff in our storage system. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'll be RB. All right, guys. Well, this Enderman farm is just outrageous. I think this is one of the first times they've actually done like a legitimate, um, a like AFK session here. Not AFK session. That's just like the word that I always use. It's not. It's not actually the word at all. It's away from keyboard. I don't. It's a controller. 
Anyway, that's totally a side, side note. What I'm trying to say is the first time I actually hung out here for a while, uh, like all at once, you can see I just got 25 levels. Uh, so yeah, I've been here for quite some time. I've just been killing them with the looting sword. So there should be a ton of pearls in the system. So let's go over there and let's see how many there are. I still haven't gotten depth strider boots for my dude. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. And I didn't die. Splendid. Okay, so let's hop through the portal. Um, let's see what's going on on the other side. Uh, we're not going to pick anything up. Oh my god, look at all those. Look at all those. How crazy. Alright, so let's give this a minute. And now we're watching on the other screen, right? Up here. Let's wait for the uh, the flood of pearls to come through. So let's make sure this other character is in a safe spot. So let's just... Oh, look at all that. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, it all just went through. That's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. So... Uh, first controller, normal account, what we would do is we would come over here to make sure we saw that. And um, then we would be able to fly back over to base. So let's fly over there and see if there's a bunch of stuff in the chest. We might be able to beat it. I really doubt we'll be able to beat it, but it might be like sitting on a chunk border uh, or something like that. And it might take a second and we might even be able to fly there before it happens. All right, let's see if we can make it. Okay, okay, okay. Moment of truth. Oh. I <laughs> still have to fix the trap chest. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna wait here for a second and see. Okay, I think that these are gonna fill up first, right? That's how I had the system built. Uh huh. Okay, let's go back here and see if we can uh, watch the item stream work. Oh man, I'm nervous. I'm gonna wait a minute, and if we don't see anything, I'm gonna have to do some investigating. Oh. Whoa. Okay. What in the world? There is a freaking block missing. Of course it was a block missing. Of course it was a missing block. Okay. And is this on the wrong side? It's on the wrong side. <laughs> I messed everything up. Okay. Well, we figured the problem out. So let's pop this open. Uh, I would like some... I would like that trapdoor, please. Oh, man. Okay. I'll bring you back when I figure this out. Okay. Well, we fixed it. Stuff's coming into the system. It all came into here, and so it needs to fill up the hoppers behind there, and then the, uh, this thing, and then the hoppers behind it, and then it can start filling this stuff up. But I realize that there is an issue with this machine, this deal. So if we were to... What what, is, what are you doing? Why is there a dropper over here? Oh, right. I know what's, what that was. Never mind me. Ignore it. Uh, so uh, the deal is that all of those items are going to come up all at once, and they're just going to be sitting on that hopper, and they're all going to despawn before the hopper can pick them up. So we're definitely going to have to fix this in the future and add a little ice stream that makes them go around in a loop. So they can... If you know what... If you see my snow farm, we're essentially going to, we're going to do that. We're going to build the snow farm ice thing over here. Um, if it becomes an issue. So for now... I mean, it seems to be fine. And look at that. It's even filling up the next thing. Cool! Well, we did it, guys. I'm going to move on to the next project. We're going to go work on the mob farm because I realize I haven't even talked about the rates or anything over there. And I'm going to talk about a couple more um, design choices I'm going to do. And it should be pretty interesting. So I'm going to go over there and I'll BRB words brain. All right. So while I'm flying over here, you just saw a little sneak preview of what we're about to do. Uh, oh, I don't have the map on me. Dang it. So there's this island over here, guys, and I wanted to talk to you real quick about it. Um, see our guardian farm, and then this island right here with this well, naturally generated well. And look at all those animals. You saw it briefly, and here's our mob farm. Okay, so we're going to work on this, but before we do, I just wanted to talk about this real quick. So there's nothing else in this area. It's all ocean everywhere around here. We got our fortune-telling device over here. Look at this little, one little block. That's funny. Um, yeah, in our guardian farm, but there's no other land over here. And so it means that there's always tons of animals on this island. Um, I come over here and I kill these guys all the time to get, like, random things and food every once in a while and stuff with the looting sword. Just because there's so many of them. I'm trying to, you know, clean up the, ser or the server, clean up the world and all that. You know what I mean. Uh, but it got me thinking. You could build a passive mob farm here, right? And it would mean... Uh, if there's animals spawning here, they'd spawn in your farm, correct? Right? No? I mean, I know it's not the same as the PC. I wish there was, like, spawn chunks and stuff like that. We could actually do a legitimate one. But, dude, you guys, I could definitely put a auto-mining TNT quarry deal 
dig that all out and build a freaking passive mob farm down there at bedrock oh my gosh that is a crazy idea i'm just gonna put that on the back burner though and not not think about that right now because that is a huge thing to think about okay anyway um we're over here at mob farm you probably saw i had a bunch of stuff in my inventory so i'm gonna try and get up to the top here and i think we're gonna start a little bit of a dare i say it a montage let's do this Okay guys, well not every day can you do something that you really like. Sometimes you just have to make a fail so you can learn. I think that's what this was. I think this is a learning experience. Glass does not look good, but you know at nighttime it's not as bad. It's kind of cool with these big bright mushroom things. They're just so vibrant and out there and like the bottom is so dark and everything. It's kind of cool. Uh huh. Anyway, I think it'll look a lot cooler when there's like a big one too. It's going to come up to like over here. Like that's that kind of height. It's going to be pretty large. So guys, you can't you can't make it every day. You can't hit your mark. Sometimes you just make a fail. And you know what I've learned over the years of my life and the stuff and the things and the it, life lesson advice time, guys. Uh, I always hear people like saying they're scared of stuff and they don't want to do stuff because they they're gonna make a mistake and all that. I really I have a hard time understanding that kind of thought pattern. Because mistakes are some of the best moments in my life. I, I'm honest, like, I'm honest right now. I'm not trying to, like, make a joke or something. Like, I'm really serious. Mistakes are the thing that I look for in life. I want to find mistakes. I want to make mistakes. And you know why? Get wrecked. Oh, that was kind of close. Oh, not that kind of mistake. You know why I like mistakes is because every time I make a mistake... I learned something, you know what I mean? And again, again, I'm not trying to be all Mr. Mr. Dad joke here. This is not a joke, and I'm not trying to give you some cheesy bit of advice. It's some real stuff, okay? My point is, is that mistakes are what allow you to learn from your actions. And so, something like in Minecraft, like, I sit here for so dang long until I've figured out every single little bit of my contraption but you know what you're never gonna think of everything you're never gonna have all of it figured out so eventually there comes a point where thinking is not productive and doing is really the way to go you really gotta just sit down and do it And so I don't know what I'm trying to say I guess that uh you know if you really look at something that you want to do okay like pick anything from your life that you want to do that you really want that you need or whatever and now ask yourself, why is that not happening? And 9 times out of 10, I swear 99% of the time, it's going to be because you're afraid of making a mistake. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, real quick before we leave, Sal is messing around in a creative copy. Sometimes I copy this world, or well, I copy this world like every week to back it up to save it from glitches and stuff. Uh, but another thing that I do sometimes is open it up in creative when I have like a crazy idea 
and I just make it like a copy of the world. Just to clarify, just in case you're wondering, this is a legit survival world with trophies and everything, um, but I can make a copy of this map and do stuff in creative mode like here and test stuff out and not waste like a crazy amount of hundreds of hours of time, which is what I did. I built a witch farm over here in a creative world and it's freaking amazing, but you know what's not amazing? The AFK platform point. So I was doing some three-dimensional radial math stuff and things and trying to calculate how far away man my stuff's gonna break i really gotta go to the gold farm that's where i was trying to go but i ended up over here <laughs> that's kind of funny oh now i can't fly up to the top anyway um what was i even saying so yeah i built this gold farm and all of this stuff and the things but the afk platform oh so the spot to afk for this one is like somewhere over there the spot to afk for that one is like somewhere over there they're like 20 blocks apart they're 20 blocks too far apart to do a double witch farm. Dang it! Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna... Oh man, that's kind of scary. I'm gonna try and fly south to the uh, gold farm before my wings break. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for me for today. Let me know if you liked what we did in today's episode. I know it was a little bit of a lackluster um, stuff today, but you know... You gotta wrap stuff up, you gotta polish uh, projects, you gotta think about other things. And man, the next few days, the next few projects, the episodes I'm gonna be releasing, man, that was a word, that was a word moment, my brain word moment. Um, yeah, the next few episodes I'm gonna be releasing are gonna be really good. I'm having a really hard time talking. What in the world? I think it's the coffee voice. You guys ever get that? You, you drink too much coffee and you don't drink enough water? I'm gonna have to go drink some water because my, my brain is voicing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't even know what I was saying. It wasn't important. You know what's important? All of you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. All the continued love and support and likes and shares and all the good stuff you guys have been doing. You guys are rocking it. So keep it up. Thank you so much. What was I going to say? Yeah, I had a really good time recording. I hope you did too. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you guys have a really good day. Bye-bye.